Uh, you watching the bread? Chess to the bread, yeah. Get a subscriber tap. Chess to the bread. Chess to the bread. Turn around. Is this thing on? Did y'all miss me? Because I miss y'all. Because I miss y'all. Um, just a little small disclaimer. I will be popping back on here, so get used to me. I will be doing vlogs. I will be doing all of that. Um, I have a lot of outings with my homegirls coming up. So I will be taking y'all with me. I always say that, but I will. And in the vlog that I'm about to do, I will be including the Galentine's festivities. I didn't film too much of that, but I'm going to include it just so y'all can see. I'm going to do it in a cute little editing way where I can do a flashback to the little Galentine's where it makes sense for the video. Um... But yeah, just prepare to be sick of me because I have a lot of story times to get out to you guys and I'm not playing. Thank you. Before we get into this video, I did want to put you guys on to a couple of my subscribers' businesses because y'all, my subscribers eat down. I'm not even playing with y'all. The first one is Nina's Jewel House, who offers the finest pieces at affordable prices that you'll love. You can get your accessories for every occasion, including date night, events, and everyday wear. And you guys, I looked at her pieces and I am going to be putting on the screen just a little overview of her website and some personal videos that she sent me because, baby, I want my jewelry. Now. Not playing. I'm literally going to purchase because cute as i'm never gonna lead y'all astray okay not playing so get at nina's jewel house go ahead and order and check the description box for all the information that you will need her link to her website and anything extra will be in the description box below and the next thing i want to show you guys is also jewelry handmade jewelry sunshine underscore jewelry 2023 is her instagram all of the links and things like that are going to be in the description box below i will pop up on the screen a couple of things she has bracelets anklets keychains necklaces rings etc and she will do custom designs super super cute girl super super cute stuff i'm not playing with you guys go ahead and check out her business um and tell her that chest is sent you i also want to show you guys this bomb hairstyle that i got done i couldn't do any videos with the hairstyle on my channel just because of all the things i had going on after i got my hair done but i'm still gonna pop up on the screen how i got slayed because are you serious i'm gonna show you guys while i was getting my hair done um i'm gonna show you guys that because how, how it was looking off of like before it was even styled for real just off of it being cut Baby, it was eating down. Are you dumb? I'm going to show you guys pictures. I went out with the hairstyle. It was super, super cute. And y'all already know. Y'all probably seen on my channel before. She's the same woman who does my silk presses. She eats down. Nakia, NC the stylist. She eats down. If you are in the Atlanta area, metro Atlanta area, and you want your hair done by a celebrity stylist level how some of these hairstylists be wanting you to 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 donate your liver to get your hair done it's none of that and you get your hair washed you get your hair blow dried all of that she's very professional she is very cute in her salon she got snacks in her salon i swear by nakia do not play go get your hair done and tell her that she sent you thank you y'all please don't fight me I don't want I don't want my ones with none of y'all okay I don't want my ones with none of y'all so please please spare me don't teach me don't teach me what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're not already subscribed girl hurry up y'all already know when you subscribe to me that get fat then pockets get fat that skin gets clear and you just become a better like y'all don't even gotta like take my word for it just do it just do it and you'll see instant results, okay? I'm not even playing. And I appreciate you guys for y'all's patience. I didn't make no videos last month uh, for like February. I made literally zero videos. And I think that's the first time in the history of my YouTube channel that I've ever gone a full month without making any videos. And trust me, I know y'all sick, but I'm sick, baby. I'm sick too. Like, I don't need to ever do that again. Um, I missed y'all way too much. And I definitely missed the money and I could have got from making more videos. Like, what? are you done my grandmother i was helping her move out she's about to go to venezuela i had i just have a lot going on in my life right now but i am back and better than ever and i love you guys so much for y'all's patience trust me i love you guys so much and if you guys don't follow me on instagram at chessa la morena y'all need to follow me right now just for, so y'all can get all the updates and all the tea at any time let's get into this story time um y'all i always start off a story time by saying like y'all i did not want to tell y'all this story time i've been contemplating talking about this but this one is really a story that i was contemplating telling it really is because i know y'all read the title and y'all are probably like oh chessa this one's gotta be clickbait like 
ain't no way that you 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 know what i'm saying ain't no way that you going toe to toe and lining it up with a man baby this is not clickbait i wish this was clickbait for my sake because this whole trip was just a mess we're gonna take this story time back to uh, april uh, around april of last year y'all know my birthday is 420 i am a taurus i want to just put this on the record because i get so many comments on my newer videos like you called yourself an aries i thought you were an aries boogie i thought i was an aries too no shade <laughs> like i thought i was an aries too my whole life i was calling myself an aries because the thing with me is i was born in germany on a military base i don't have a birth certificate for real i don't really have the exact time that i was born and i'm born on the last day of aries and the first day of taurus or the other way around the last day of taurus and the first about to be the first day of aries i'm born on the on the cusp taking this back to april I decided that I wanted to go to the M's, which if y'all know me, y'all know I love Miami. I really don't like getting on planes for real. With this, this is all going to feed into the story. So don't think that I'm just yapping. I mean, I am, but there's like reason for what I'm saying right now. So y'all know that I, I was going to the yams back to back. I was going to the yams in the summer. I did some yams vlogs for you. I mean, it wasn't really lit or like, you know, it wasn't nothing crazy because I was there on a relationship type of vibe and this trip I went with my friend and this situation was just going to be a little bit different you know what I mean it wasn't like I was finna wild out or nothing like that but I wanted to do like a friend vlog I wanted to go to to Miami with the with my friend and I wanted to have like a cute little Miami vlog where me and her were on jet skis and you know we was gonna have a really lit fun time so I thought. Mind you, I was celebrating my 22nd birthday and um, I kind of feel like I was ripped away like my opportunity to celebrate my 21st birthday in like a lit way because I was going through it a lot mentally on my 21st birthday and to be honest like I don't I don't want nobody to think I want them to feel bad for me or nothing like that but like I don't I never really had nobody do something special for me for my birthday like like plan it out for me or really you know, do nothing, nothing big or nothing like that or want to go on a trip or nothing like that. I never really had that type of vibe going for my birthday. It was always like, well, Chessa, what do you want to do? Like, I know it's my birthday, but it would be like, oh, I would be like to my friends. I'll be like, what are we doing for my birthday? Like, help me plan. I didn't really have no friends that would help me plan. I am blessed to say that I have beautiful, loving, attentive friends now that are nothing like the friends that I had at the time. But yeah, so I'm like, but I did have this one homegirl, which this, I feel like this situation really, really tore us apart a little bit. I'm going to say, I'm not going to say that we're not friends anymore. We, we're still cool, but we're not as close as we were after this situation. And I know y'all know trips really be testing friendships for real, for real. So I'm going to give her the name. I'm going to give her the name Shorty. And I'm going to give her the name Shorty because she's also really short like me. I'm 5'2 and she's shorter than me. She's like 5'1 and a half. Like we always be like, we're, we're the same height, but she's shorter than me. So I'm going to name her Shorty. And um, the other people in the, in the story times are all obviously going to get a name as we go. So I'm texting Shorty and I'm like, and y'all know y'all have those friends who you know you can bring with you somewhere. You have them friends you know you can bring to the club with you. You know you have them friends that you can bring to the mall with you. You know you have them friends you can kick it at the crib with. And then you have them friends that will go out of state with you, right? We were trying to get everything together. We actually had no issues regarding finances. Like y'all know when some people, when they go on a trip with their friends, the financial situation becomes, you know, going back and forth who gonna pay for what i don't have money for this and that be the that be the downfall of the situation that is nowhere where this story time is gonna go we both had the money on to go to the amps okay we both had our funds together thankfully because if we had any more issues baby it would have went down but this is luckily not a story time of us fighting i mean we we're gonna get there so um shorty's like yeah girl like we can go mind you i had somebody like could have went with somebody else but they had a lot going on and they had you know shit to do with you know their life and their career and my family it wasn't like none of them was gonna come with me so i was really just looking for a little getaway i missed miami and i wanted to go so we get that together and long story short we are gonna meet at the airport and we're gonna fly together and we're gonna go to ocean drive which is south beach y'all already know y'all know palace 
Palace is like a restaurant where they have like drag shows and things like that and the performances and I knew some of the you know the drag queens I don't I hope I'm using the right terminology I know the ones that I know called themselves drag queens so I hope I'm not offending nobody and if I'm ignorant just correct me in the comments I don't got time for you um come on y'all know that I try to be very respectful with all of that okay we get there we check into where we're staying no issues we're good the third day we decide that we want to go take a little walk on the strip like literally the main thing that we would do when we would go like when i would go at least because i never went with her but like my main routine with who i would who i would go with is we would walk on the strip we'll get some food we'll go to the beach and y'all i'm gonna tell y'all all the little riff raffs that i had with her the other girls the dude like the big situation is with the dude at the end of the story but like all of this shit matters because y'all can see like where my anxiety was coming up and all of that right because let me take it a little bit back i had a conversation with shorty before we even went to miami because this still was me celebrating my birthday right so i put together an itinerary for my birthday it wasn't much on the itinerary because her budget and my budget we only had so much that we could work with because this was a more last minute kind of trip because i wasn't even gonna do it for my birthday let's start there so it wasn't like jesky monday jesky tuesday boat banana ride third you know what i'm saying like it wasn't like we had oh just all these excursions to do no we had a few excursions we had one we were supposed to jet ski one day and then um towards the last day of our trip we were supposed to parasail or whatever that is where you i'm glad we didn't do it because that was not my idea i did not want to do that shit. i got talked into to wanting to do that shit. but where you get on that like there's like a balloon thing and you're in the water over the water hell no nah. we had a conversation and i'm the type of bitch when i go to the beach i like to be in the water okay whether i have braids in my head or i do a natural hairstyle with just my hair when i go to the beach i'm going to be in the water like a mermaid like clear nor like for real like i'm in it you get what i'm saying we if, if this ain't mako mermaids is this if this is not h2o don't go to the beach with me because if you finish i don't want to get my hair wet i don't want to get in the water i don't want to swim i don't know how to swim bitch, i'm not to go to the beach with them because baby i could teach you how to swim it ain't that hard we're adults why do you not know how to swim for one let's start there and, and if my subscribers if y'all don't know how to swim baby i still love you i will teach you i will hold a ymca swimming class for all you because that's survival for one why at your big ass age do you not know how to swim i don't even want to hear an excuse baby if, unless you have a medical excuse or something like that i don't want to hear no excuse so again i told her baby if we go into the beach I'm going to be in the ocean 90% of the trip. I want to be in the ocean. I want to be laying on the sand, booty naked, on, on my back, tanning. And I want to swim. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to be coming to the beach with a bust-down unit, don't, like, we're not, let's go somewhere else. We can go to the cabins or something. And she's like, no, I love being in the ocean. I hate them don't want to get my hair wet ass. Like, let's go, bitch. I'm going to be in the ocean right with you. I'm going to be swimming right with you. So I'm like, okay, that's what I like that's what i'm talking about like are you going to be down for the festivities you get what i'm saying she's like yeah girl like all of that so i'm like okay cool maybe like the fourth night we were going to be there we had reservations for palace which is that place where i told y'all well she made reservations for palace for my birthday dinner um for like the fourth night that we we're going to be there because I don't remember if it was like the fourth night that that was going to be my actual birthday or if we just decided like the calm the calmer stuff that we wanted to do like after it was going to be after excursions and shit towards the end of the trip i don't really remember but she told me she handled our reservation at palace and all of that right so fast forward to about the third day we're in the hotel and shorty's on her phone Shorty's on her phone a whole lot. Like the when we wake up, we woke up at like 11 and Shorty is like steady on her phone and she's doing that friend thing where she's like, you get what I'm saying? Like she's, she's going at it, right? And Shorty got a man, like Shorty, I mean, it wasn't her boyfriend, but Shorty had a man, like, you know what I'm saying? She was going back and forth with him. And that's something we also already talked about. I'm like, okay, if he pisses you off or if he's on his weird because sometimes like he would be bothering her when we would go out and stuff like that and i've experienced that so i was like don't 
don't be wasting the trip and and letting this man ruin your time and ruin your night or take away from our trip because we're supposed to be spending time together if we had a bunch of people i wouldn't care too much about what you're doing on your phone you get what i'm saying because i'm gonna let you do you and i'm gonna kick it with whoever is being attentive and involved and i'm not gonna heart too much on you because i know how it feels but like at the same time this is just me and you and we got things to do baby so we can't be letting no nigga ruin our trip no we're not doing that whatever wasn't on the itinerary like scheduled or planned we still already we already had everything accounted for by the, the time we went to sleep we knew what we was doing the next day when we got up you know what i'm saying we were like all right tomorrow you want to go to get brunch and then we're gonna go to the beach type shit that was really the routine for the daytime every day so she finally gets off her phone like that was the first little riffraff because she was just kind of like um hold on like and we were supposed to leave out of the hotel by like 11 a.m to get our day started and we didn't leave out till like one because that by the time she got done arguing with that nigga over the phone she started getting ready and she wasn't ready till like one so i was annoyed but i wasn't about to trip and like cause a whole scene because like a couple hours is a couple hours you know what i'm saying it's the around the summertime the sun don't go down early we still got days here i'm not tripping on you like that so we go out or whatever we walk on the strip we find us some lunch and then we go on the beach when we go on the beach we see these girls and you know what i'm saying i'm a girl's girl i know it's very cliche to say i'm not even gonna say i'm a girl's girl I'm a girl's girl for who's a girl's girl themselves. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you're a weirdo, I'm not finna be a girl's girl to you. And I'm not about to, like, you know what I'm saying, overextend myself to bitches who are just weird, mugging-ass bitches. That's not how I am. But when it comes to girls who are positive, energies that have, that aren't haters, bitch, you're, we right here. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm very friendly with those type of girls. I had, like, this bikini, this black bikini that I had, like, put spikes on. Like, I was looking real, like, I was looking like a bad bitch. And they were like, who where'd you get your swimsuit from i'm like bitch, i make this swimsuit like <laughs> hello and we just chopping it up and they're like um what are y'all doing later like we're gonna be at palace so come by palace and you know what i'm saying we're gonna whatever and i'm like okay cool so we go our separate ways there's people buying or selling little mixed drinks on the beach and stuff we're getting lit and it starts getting dark like we we've been on the beach all day we was in the ocean we put our shorts back on we got our wet hair we was in the, she was in the ocean like how she said like i can't fault her for that everything with that was cool so it gets to around 6 p.m and when those girls said come to palace we didn't have a reservation for that night but like palace when they would do like the outside performances everybody would line up around palace on the outside of the gate and like watch the performances so i guess that's what they meant like to just come by palace or whatever so we was like okay cool so when we got done on the beach we went to the little outside beach showers we washed up we put our shorts back on and like everybody walked around in a bathing suit so we didn't have to go back to the telly before coming to palace like we just went straight there so when we walking up we see commotion so we see two girls one girl is yelling and we can't really see like we can't really tell because there's y'all know i don't know if y'all know but on ocean drive it's just constantly people just walking on the strip walking and there's niggas there's tall ass like you know what i'm saying we couldn't really see who or what was going on we just heard commotion i'm hearing slurs i'm not even going to repeat the slurs that i was hearing because i don't condone that and this is where i should have known to like to completely avoid these girls which we did but y'all are gonna get it just wait so the girls that we see yelling the slurs they're getting basically like kicked out of the palace it looked like they were already kicked out of the palace because they weren't inside the gate they were already outside the gate but they're like yelling like we had a king reservation y'all want to be i'm gonna I'm just say this part no this is not coming from me but they were like y'all want to be as girls y'all are not even real women y'all are fake women don't 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 do it don't don't do it she's and then they're they're yelling like the the actual slurs and stuff and at first i'm like who the f who the fuck are you like i start teeing up because i don't i don't play that like i don't like that palace is such a positive vibe like that's like my favorite place on ocean drive like i'd be the most excited to go by and see the little performances and so i'm like who the f like leave them alone like why are you and 
I realized it's the girls that we met on the beach. So they're like, girl, no, like, it's not even like that. Just listen. Like, I, I swear it's not even like that. And then they come close to us. Mind you, they're drunk as hell. We're drunk. And I'm like, no, but before you tell me what's going on, don't be using slurs like that. Like, I don't care. Like, she was like, no, I don't even really feel like that. But they just did some lame shit like it's my birthday and I had a whole reservation for the palace and they left they made us leave because we started dancing like how you gonna make me leave because I'm dancing on my birthday and I'm like baby that's like drag show etiquette you do not take the shine away from the performers you do not get up and start dancing and bringing the attention onto you that is just not what you do I don't know who told you that was okay, but you don't do that. That's honestly considered disrespectful to a lot of people and to the performers. You don't do that. So I was like, they had to have given you at least one warning before just kicking you out for standing up. Because, like, you know, you're a tourist. They don't really understand a tourist. Not a Taurus. Not a tourist. A tourist. You are not native to Miami. You are not native to the area. So if you get up and start dancing and that's against their rules, I know that they told you that. I know that they told you that and that you either combated against them and you, you wanted to go back and forth or you continue to do the behavior they told you to stop doing before they just kick you out of there. Because I don't see drunk men touch on the, the performers and be redirected. They don't just get kicked out, kicked out off rip. Don't play with me like that. I'm not stupid. I, th I'm, this is not my first time being here. You get what I'm saying? So I was like... I was like, I know that there had to have been more than that. You know what I'm saying? So I look at my friend. Y'all know that look that you have with your friend that it's like, y'all are, it's unspoken, but it's, you know, it's understood. That's what it is. Like, we looking at them like, yeah, we know that we not finna, we not finna kick it with these girls. Because it's like, me and my homegirls are not them type of girls. Like, we're just not... We're not ignorant. We decided in that moment that we wasn't finna deal with these girls no more. They were drunk, sloppy. They were throwing their shoes. And like, I get it. You lit. You in the yams. I'm lit too, but I'm not acting. This is not cute. So we end up walking away doing our own thing. We end up just chilling for the rest of the night. And that's cool. Next day rolls around. And my day already gets started. Not good. I'm not going to say who, but just know somebody in my family, friends, circle. I don't even know what to call her. But somebody that has been in my life for a while that I constantly am at odds with, constantly having issues with, constantly going back and forth and having drama with, was being weird on the internet. And... I was seeing it and I was trying to not like let it get to me but something that this person likes to do is like post things deliberately to try and trigger me and I'm not I'm, I'm gonna be honest I'm not at a place where I'm healed enough to just be like whatever you know what I'm saying like you want to get my attention with that and nine times out of ten you will not at this point because this was last year baby now I'm the easiest to to throw slugs at because i'm not i'm not even paying attention to that shit or like you're not talking to me you know what i'm saying like if you're not saying that to me you're not talking to me type yeah. but that's not how that's not where i was a year ago okay so i'm having slugs thrown at me on the internet this is talking about me on the internet mind you it's my birthday celebration why are you being weird you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even going to get into that because that, that girl it would be a whole nother story. That would be probably one of my longest story times. But we're not even going to get into that right now. But just know I was blown from the time that I woke up and got on Instagram to the nighttime. Because it wasn't like I was going back and forth with her all day. But, like, that really threw my energy for the day. And my friend was going back and forth with it with her dude again on her phone we didn't get to do jet skis because we didn't make it on time to jet skis it was just one of those days like i feel like there's always at least one day on a vacation or on a trip where shit don't go how it's supposed to go it's always one if not many there's always at least one so i'm blown so we're trying to find other things to do and we're both not really club type of girls like even here in the city like if I go out if y'all if y'all see me posting out somewhere I was invited there um I didn't pay to get in I didn't pay for my drinks I didn't pay for my food and I'm promoting and I'm getting my you know my pictures professionally taken of me and I'm there with somebody else who also was invited you get what I'm saying like not even to talk oh to toot my own horn or like because I'm better than nobody I just personally don't really enjoy the nightlife 
going out and things like that from time to time it's cool it's not like i'm saying i never do it just for funsies i do do it just for funsies sometimes because i'm 20 i'm about to be 23 i'm still young but it's like y'all know from these stories that i did a lot of the nightlife when i was younger like when i was 16 i was going out with my brother and stuff so i wasn't being a thought but i was doing like you know the going out the getting drunk i was doing that when i was younger so it's not really like there's a lot of people who had really helicopter ass parents who didn't really get to do that stuff when they were younger or like even 18 19 so when they get 22 23 they're like oh let's go to this club another club another club you know what i'm saying like that's not me so we weren't really looking to go to any clubs when we were out there literally the palace that was the closest thing to a club we were going to go to we were going to go to the smash room which i've done before and i really loved it we were going to go jet skiing we were going to go to um some museum outside of south beach we were going to just do you know cute girly things the main thing i wanted to do was go to the beach because the beach is really my happy place there we go i'm already blown so we like you know what why don't we get some four locos or something like why don't we get drunk and we go on the strip we eat like the normal thing we do and then why don't tonight we go to like the little cocktail place there was like this place i don't know what it's called but it's on the strip um and they do like cocktails or whatever is that what it's called cocktails it's late by the time that we end up going we're trying the little drinks and um there's a bunch of people in there and like when we're passing there's music playing in there everybody in there is lit i'm like all right so we go and the dude that's making the drinks he's like y'all y'all want to taste them and we like yeah like he's like taste taste them before y'all get one and he's just giving us like the full drinks to taste for the free ski so we're getting lit keep that in mind and keep in mind i was already on edge okay because i'm not saying that no nothing in this story time was wrong on my end but just keep in mind that i was i was i was getting lit so we're in there we're dancing we're getting lit and there's this man that ends up um like he was already in there but like he ends up like coming around to where we're at mind you this man was probably 30s he he looked older he in my opinion he looked like he was one of the girls it didn't it wasn't given that he was trying to flirt with us and nothing like that and he had a bottle and he was like it's my birthday too you know what i'm saying like i'm trying to get lit with y'all like um i'm celebrating my birthday and he i guess he overheard that i said i was celebrating my birthday so i was like you know what i'm saying i'm already on one i'm already drunk so i'm like eh, it's your birthday it's your birthday and again i'm thinking he's one of the girls he's over here like low-key twerking with us like we're all like shaking ass like it's lit so he has this bottle and i don't even know what it is i don't know what it is i don't know if it was wine i don't know what it was but he was like um free shots for all the baddies right so he's like pouring the bottle <laughs> into my mouth into my homegirl's mouth um and like all the girls that are kind of in there we're all like kind of like talking to each other right so we're like we take some of his drink or whatever which don't ever do that I'm, I'm so dead ass don't ever do that like this is the first thing that i did wrong because why are you taking a random drink off of a random man i don't care how lit you are i don't care if it's your birthday i mean some of y'all are gonna do it anyways because it'd be like in the moment but like not a not a good decision could have went very wrong the way i thought it did it could have went that way and it could have went worse than how it actually ended up going so mind you we all take some and he poured a little bit more in, in my mouth just because it was my birthday than my homegirl took so i was that's part of why I got paranoid. Um, I'm about to tell y'all about that. So, um, we end up meeting this boy who is definitely one of the girls who ends up being like around us or whatever. And like we met him in there. Like he came in and he was with like one girl and he was like kicking it with us. And he was like, where are y'all going to go after this? Like everybody's lit. And those two girls that we ended up finding out were ignorant weird girls that we met at the beach that were doing all that slur yelling and stuff they ended up coming in there and they was dancing and not gonna lie we were in such a good mood and we were on such a good vibe that we didn't even care it's not like we was finna you know beef with them or nothing like that so we all collectively all of us are like talking about where we finna go next because the cocktail place was finna close so while we're in the midst of talking about where we finna go the man who poured the the drink ends up coming up to me and he's like do you feel it yet what the f stop playing what the f stop playing what the fuck is that ah! what the f is that i don't care man he keeps coming by he's like he's like smiling hella weird y'all know them videos where people are smiling weird at their partner and they're like 
to see if they noticed the smile. He's smiling at me like that. He's like, Do you feel it yet? And I'm looking at him like, What the hell is you talking about? So I'm thinking he's talking about the lick. Like, am I feeling the alcohol? And I'm like, Boy, I'm already drunk as hell. Like, yeah, I'm feeling it. Like, what are you talking about? So I'm ignoring him. And then he keeps coming around saying the same thing. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Feeling what? And y'all, I'm going to bleep it out because YouTube. But just let's just say that he was saying he put substances in the bottle. So he's like, I put in that. I put coke in that. And he's smiling about it and kikiing about it. And y'all, I have anxiety disorder, panic disorder. I do not play that. I have hypochondriasis, which is health anxiety as well. So once he said this, I started feeling like I was and y'all. Like I started feeling like I was tripping out. So I'm like, what are you talking about? And then he's walking around to the dudes that are in the same like little restaurant, but like they're not with us. He's like walking far to them. And he's like, I put something in my bottle and them drink it and then he's coming over back to us and he's like do y'all feel it yet like and then he keeps changing the substances that he said he put in there he's like i put this in there and then when he comes back he's like i put this in there and it's something completely different it's like boy and if i wasn't already lit i would not have been taking him seriously because he kind of low-key looked like he was a bum like he didn't look like he had a home if we're being real and i'm not even trying to be funny but my friends were not stunning it and the girls that we were with and the dude we was with, the, the gay boy, none, nobody was stunting it, y'all. Nobody was stunting it, like, but me. So I'm tripping. Like, I'm like, bro, that shit is not funny. Even if you joking, you're weird. It's, like, that shit is not funny. And the owner of the cocktail place, like, the man that was giving us the drinks, he was like, get out of here, bro. You're making everybody uncomfortable. Because everybody was uncomfortable, but nobody was taking it as serious as me. Because you poured the most in my mouth. Like, I'm taking it serious because I ain't never took a drink off of a stranger before. So, yeah, I'm getting uh, paranoid. I don't give how nobody feel so he gets kicked out of there and we don't see him no more right so we end up deciding that we're gonna go to a club i don't think that it was on the same strip but it was within walking distance we walked to some club y'all i had the time of my life in there miami clubs are completely the opposite from atlanta clubs everybody was dancing they were playing thug because i requested thug they said they got atlanta in the house i'm dancing with my home girl that place closed at like 5 a.m and we walk outside we're trying to find the next move right so as we're walking up the strip to find another club because we were told there was like an after hours place we start walking we see oh boy and we're gonna we're just gonna name him bum we see bum walking towards us again mind you we're with a whole man a man is with us he might be for the girls but he was a big tall man and he didn't give for the, the only reason we knew he was for the girls is because he told us if you would just see him you wouldn't think he's for the girls so we go and we're walking and the man comes back and he's like y'all why y'all so mad why y'all had me kicked out of the the cocktail bar y'all's just so mad like y'all mad that i put that in y'all drink don't be mad at me because y'all y'all feeling it like don't be mad so i started getting mad like i'm like leave us the, alone like leave me alone before i put my hands on you leave me alone so he ends up walking away we don't see him again and i'm already starting to tee up like i'm already starting to get annoyed because i'm lit I had a bad start to my day. This man is harassing me and playing about putting substances in my drink. Like this whole situation is just not it for me right now. It's not cute. So we end up finding the next place. We go to the next place. And y'all, it's been, we were probably in there for an hour. We get out. I'm drunk as hell. Like I can barely like walk at this point. Like we're lit. So we're walking back on the strip. There's still, the strip is still full of people for real. And we see bum coming back. And at this point, I'm ready for anything because I I told myself if I see Bum again, I'm going to punch him in his face because nobody else was getting mad like me. The, man, the, the boy that we were with that was for the girls, he wasn't doing nothing. He wasn't defending us. And I feel like as a man, I don't care if you're for the girls or not. If you are a man with a bunch of little girls and little girls as in short, petite, little women, and you're this big, you look like our security guard. Why are you not, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Why are you not? defending us why are you not getting this man the fuck away from us why am i being the one that's like get the fuck away like i'm turning into the nigga at this point so he come back and he's bothering us some more and i'm like i'm really teeing up i'm yelling on the strip like i'm like get the away because i'm about to put my hands on you i'm drunk i don't give a fuck that you're a nigga i don't give a fuck that you're an old ass man get the fuck away from me right so he ends up saying to us stank pussy ass bitch and he pushes me 
I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. I took off my chunkless and I started running. He, he does that and then he starts running. <laughs> and now that I look at it, y'all, it was a funny situation, but it wasn't funny in the moment. It was not funny in the moment and it doesn't stop here. So he takes off running and I'm chasing him up. I lost my Shein chunkless. I had Shein chunkless. They were like little black chunkless and I, I'm running and I chase him up the strip and I have my shoes off. My feet are getting cut up on the rocks and shit. And I catch him and I'm like, I'm like, square up. And he squares up with me, y'all. And then I start hitting with him. <laughs> and he's not really hitting me, but like he's like swinging at me. I'm swinging at him and I'm not like, the part of me felt bad for him because he looked like a bum. Not like a full bum, like not like the bums you see on Atlanta streets, but like he just looked, you know what I'm saying? He was alone, he looked like he was a bum. And I, I didn't want to hurt him, so I wasn't hitting him hard. I didn't hit him hard at all. I was just kind of like swinging, like leave me alone. Like I was hitting him on the back type, not on the head or in the face or nothing like that. I was just like swinging at a man. Like, come on, I wasn't getting up with him like I would get up with a female. So I'm swinging, I'm hitting him on the back and he's kind of like slapping me around on my back and shit. And he gets on the ground and he starts like covering his head and I just start slapping him. I'm not even punching him at this point. Like I'm like punching him on his back like bing 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 on the back and he's eating that shit because he's a grown-ass man he was big he was big 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 i don't want to say fat in like a negative connotation but he was a big fat man so i'm hitting him on his back that hit his boing, 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 bouncing back at me i'm damn near hitting myself from hitting him he's eating that shit. and out of nowhere the girls that we were there with the two girls that are crazy they come and like while he's balled up on the damn ground they start punching him where his head would be but he was covering it so he, they were hitting his arms but they start punching him in the head like i'm like why are y'all even like y'all wasn't even mad y'all wasn't even mad i was the only one mad so why are y'all mad now y'all didn't even chase him when i chased him y'all caught up to me and now y'all want to hit with him like they were just weirdos so i get to i get done like once they start trying to hit him i walk away i'm like okay and then i get to argue with the gay boy that we were with like with the boy that we were with that wasn't protecting us i'm like why the f am i fighting a grown-ass man while you right here and the the boy we were with was like hella older than us he was like 25 or some shit so i'm like why do you have us fighting this grown ass man you seen this whole shit go down and this is what you do this is what you do so he's like okay so he walks up to him and he grabs him by the shirt and he's like apologize to her apologize to her so he's like sorry sorry and then when he lets go he's like Bitch. <laughs> like he starts talking shit again like he was he was lit y'all this little bum was lit so they get to wrestling we're just gonna call him rainbow because he was for the girls um he puts rainbow on his like he throws him on his back like he tackles him he messes up his shoulder he's like all types of messed up like y'all it was a lot and then after that he gets up like the bum he gets up and walks off onto the beach no he didn't walk off onto the beach he like walked away from the strip or whatever and he wasn't lip like he he wasn't beat up he really was just like he gagged us like he, none of us really did no damage he was a big ass nigga but um so, but then I start to get to arguing with the boy some more. I'm like, you a lame ass nigga. Like, I don't give up that you for the girls. Like, you supposed to defend us because we women at the end of the day. Like, I don't with you. Like, leave me alone. And then the girls that were throwing slurs at the people at Palace, they're over here trying to mediate. Like, we're sitting here and she's trying to mediate between me and him and then the, the girl that i came there with shorty me and shorty get into it because i'm like why the, i'm teeing up y'all i'm like why do nobody give up about this whole situation why don't nobody care that he kept bothering us he calling us out of our names and nobody cares like why am i the only one defending the whole group and defending myself like why y'all let me chase him and y'all didn't come after me <laughs> y'all y'all probably gonna look at this situation like girl why were you saying what a bum was saying i was like that's when i started bringing up like girl i've been mad this whole trip <laughs> you've been texting that nigga this whole trip you've been making us late to stuff you've been waking up late you've been getting ready late you've been texting him the whole time we supposed to be starting our day you you only really did what we were supposed to do the first couple days we was here like you got on the water with me and stuff yeah but like we didn't get to do no excursions because you had us late like y'all she had us miss our she didn't even make the reservation for the palace she like called them 
and was going to make a reservation but she didn't do what she had to do online or whatever like to say that it was two people what time like she didn't pick a reservation day she called i guess and asked if they made reservations and asked if she could make a reservation for that for that day but i guess she was told to do something online because when we went they literally were like well did you go online and reserve a time and she was like no i just said what day like it's no beef for her if you see this girl you know it's no beef we already had this conversation if everything was going the way it was supposed to go or if things just went better from the start of the trip to that day i probably wouldn't have been so triggered by that man or so upset with that man and it probably wouldn't have escalated to getting violent but like i don't know you had to be there because if you're like me and you're a paranoid type of person or you're an anxious type of person and you're just trying to enjoy yourself and somebody's over here making jokes about something that's very real in the world that's something that could really have happened which is why i'm telling y'all don't don't do what i did because that could have he couldn't have he could have been telling the truth and something could, something bad could have happened to me i was crying y'all like i was yelling at him and i was crying real tears because i was so upset that like he was even playing like that because I thought he was just being positive and trying to, you know, celebrate with us, which I'm naive for that. And y'all know I'm naive in a lot of these story times. So I take my accountability for the fact that I shouldn't have even drank from the bottle. But it's like, you know, once I did and everybody did and he started t playing like that, I didn't fuck with how nobody was taking my my feelings about it seriously nobody was like validating the fact that that's not funny that's not cool to play with like the only person who did what they supposed to do when it came to that man is the dude that was making the drinks for us who kicked him out of the restaurant like he's the only one who cared like i cared he was like uh-uh like get out of here but the guy that we were with for the girls or not it does not matter i stand 10 toes on that i don't care if you are a man especially a man of that you are big yeah he ended up flipping you on your back but like you come on you should have been said something to him you should have been had him out of our face he should not have even been in my face like that but yeah y'all that's the end of the story time after that situation happened um me and her ended up like really not talking for the we was there for like two more days after that we did not have the reservations like we tried to go to the reservation that was like the day after that happened um that we tried to go to the reservation we tried to continue to have a good time but that's when we got turned around and they were all booked up there and that's where i wanted to have my birthday dinner so we ended up eating dinner somewhere else and it was just awkward and i could tell that she was like she was just focused on her dude for the rest of the time like she was still texting that boy i don't know if they were going back and forth or if she was just texting him i don't know but we were at dinner she was texting him we was going to the beach the next day she was texting him on the beach i was in the water by myself it was really just not a good trip so i'm glad that my birthday is coming up it's next month i don't know if i'm going to miami or jamaica or where i'm going but i know that i'm going on a trip somewhere where it's tropical i'm going to the beach i don't care and i'm gonna have a good time and i'm gonna have a good trip and yeah that's the end of the story time i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you comment like and subscribe comment other videos that you guys want to see from me turn on the post notification bell so you never miss when i post a video follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below i have updated my link tree in the description box so y'all don't have to worry about not seeing my instagram my tiktok whatever my instagram is chessa la morena and um i'm gonna get active on there i told y'all when i get some more followers i'm gonna be making more consistent post like picture wise um but i'm just waiting for y'all to show love on the gram so yeah